من باب الطلاق باب واسع وكبير وما هو الذي يحب اخواننا اخواننا ان ينبه عليه قال تقع فيه اخطاء كثيره منبه عن مسائل مهمه واضحه وكثيرا ما يحصل خطا فيها وهي ان الطلاق على قسمين طلاق سني وطلاق بدعي الطلاق السني ان يطلق الرجل امراته في طهر لم يجامعها فيه او يطلق يطلق الرجل امراته وهي حامل هذا طلاق سني واما الطلاق البدعي فله صور ان يطلقها وهي حامل اي وهي او وهي نفساء او يطلقها في طهر قد جامعها فيه فهذا طلاق بدعي لا يجوز للرجل ان يطلق امراته في حال حيضها او نفاسها كما انه لا يجوز له ان يطلقها في طهر قد جامعها فيه واذا وقع الطلاق البدعي فهل يحسب ويعتبر يعني من معدودا ومحسوبا الجواب عن الذكرى الثلاثيه والراجح انه يعتبر طلاقا ويكون محسوبا لحديث ابن عمر فقد طلق امراته وهي حائض فذكر ذلك عمر للنبي صلى الله عليه وعلى اله وسلم فتغيب عمره بمراجعتها فامر له له فامره له بالمراجعه يدل على حصول الطلاق وهكذا في حديث ابن عمر قيل له افحجز من طلاقها قال افرايت ان عجز واستحمق وفي روايه عند ابن خزيمه ففسدت من طلاقها. قدمت لكم هذه الماده من موقع علماء الدعوة السلفية في اليمن قدمت لكم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أيها الأحباب شيخ عبد الرحمن ابن عمر العدني حفظ الله تعالى was asked uh, by his students we want from you to speak to us about the rulings pertaining to divorce in a very summarized uh, fashion. And that is due to the mistakes, the many mistakes that happen regarding to this ruling. The Shaykh answered Hafidhullah Ta'ala by saying, yes, the issue of talaq is a very broad issue and it is uh, and our brothers uh, wish for us to begin to speak about this he said Allah ta'ala uh, many of the mistakes that happen is due, uh, he said, وَقَالْ تَقَعَ فِيهِ أَخْطَى كَثِيرًا مُهِمَّ وَادِحَ وَكَثِيرًا مَا يُحَصْلْ خَطَى فِيهَا وَهِيَ أَنَ الطَّلَاقِ عَلَى كِسْمَيْنِ He said, so there's many mistakes regarding uh, uh, this issue of divorce, uh, many serious mistakes that are very clear, and that divorce is divided into two types talaq sunni wa talaq bid'i he said uh, the uh, the sunnah talaq and the innovative talaq the sunnah talaq it is that a man divorces his wife when she is in a state of tahara in purification that he did not have sexual relations with her or that he divor a man divorces his wife and she is pregnant. This is called a talaq sunni. This is the sunnah uh, talaq. As for the innovative talaq, talaq bid'i, then it has different, uh, different types or different uh, ways in which this can happen. That one of the ways is that a man divorces his wife and she is in her menses, she's during during her period. Or she is having child 
uh, post-natal uh, bleeding, bleeding after childbirth, and he divorces her. Or he divorces her, and she is pure, but he just had sexual relations with her or had sexual relations with her during that period while she was pure. And then he decides to divorce her. These are the talaq bid'i. And it is not permissible for a man to divorce his wife in this in this state when she is during her menses or she is bleeding post uh natal bleeding then it is not permissible for him to do that and to divorce her when she is pure but they had sexual relations during this time this time of purity so if divorce happens in this in one of these states then this is talaq bid'i then he said so then is it counted or is it not uh uh or is it is it counted as divorce or is it and do we count the idda and we count it as uh we begin to count the time for her divorce for her her idda and for her the time the waiting period the sheikh says the answer is and the most correct view is that it is considered divorce, even that talaq bid'i. And he said that it begins to begin counting uh, that as her, her divorce, period. And this is due to the hadith of Ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhuma, that in which he divorced his, his wife and, she was dur- and it was during her menses. And then he mentioned that uh, Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he mentioned that to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And he, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam commanded him to return to her. So then the fact that he commanded her to return, he commanded him to uh, return to her is evidence that divorce happened. And likewise in the hadith of Ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhuma, and it was said to him, should we account for the divorce? Should we account should we count the divorce? He said, Radiallahu ta'ala anhu, have you seen uh the one who is uh frail or unable? And the one who is foolish. And then in another narration, he said, then she is lost or she is uh, released uh, uh, or, or she, she was at a loss for her, her divorce. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Any mistakes that I made were from myself in the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم